Um, you know, people have been asking me, like, why are you hosting a Super Saturday? I mean, Orlando is thick with Star Diamond coaches. You've got Hallie, you've got Lindsey Mattery down in Tampa. There's one going on over there right now. You've got Ron, you've got... And the reason I did this um, was really because I started actively coaching about four or five months ago, and I was on Facebook and I friended a guy. Uh, his name was Ken. And we just started chatting on him, you basic Ken. And he was like, love Beach Party products. I've done P90X multiple times. I've done Insanity multiple times. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I just came back with, well, how long have you been a coach? You know? And he said, well, actually, I used to be a coach. I said, oh, that's interesting. Well, if you don't mind my asking, why don't you stop? He said, well, you know, the, only, the average diamond only makes $1,400. Now, I actually went like this. It was like, I had so many issues with that statement. <laughs> so the first thing I thought about to myself about it that, that just blew, blew me the wrong way was, if you're walking down the street and you're going that way anyway, and you're doing exactly what you already do in life, right? every step that you're taking is what you already plan to do, okay? and while you're walking down the sidewalk, you pass a pile of cash, okay? $16,800, which is an annual rate at $1,400 a month. And that pile of cash has your name on it and says, please take me. Mm -hmm. Would you not bend down and pick it up? <laughs> Show hands. Who would pick it up? Everybody would pick it up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> please take your hands, right? Exactly. So that was the first issue that I was just like, whoa, cognitive distance, what are we doing with this? Right? And then the second thing, but the thing that really bothered me about what he said was his use of the word average. The average diamond coach. Okay, so how many people in this room have ever started anything new in their lives? Ever? Anything new in your life? Right. Ever went to a new school? Ever started a new family? Ever got married? Ever had a new relationship? Ever, right? Started. And now how many of you going into that thing did one of the more important things in your life that, that you started from scratch? Something new. How many of you went into that thing thinking, really like hoping, grabbing onto, I am going to be average at this. <laughs> Nobody? <laughs> I'm so going to be average at this. I mean, it's like it reminded me of when my first daughter was born, you know, and the doctor's holding her up in my face, and I'm just, you're overcome with all those emotions that happen when you have your first child, and I'm just thinking, wow, you're going to be such an average kid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be such an average dad. <laughs> I mean, we're going to hit that medium, like, dang, 50 percentile, right on the nose, for everything. You know, that's what this experience is going to be like. No, of course not. That's not what we do. We don't approach what we do in life or start anything new thinking we're going to be average. We might end up there, right? We might do our best and end up at average, but we don't start out thinking, I'm going to be average. We don't order a self-fitness program off of an 800 number because we're average. You don't get up at old dark 30 and work out by yourself in front of a TV because you're average, okay? You don't get your friends and family involved in this process because you're average. You don't know 40 ingredients out of Shakeology because you're average. <laughs> you don't understand the difference between brown rice, vegan protein, and whey isolates because you're average, right? You are here because you're not average. I have a message for Ken and everyone like him. Team Beachbody is not an average community. Yeah.